Hello, this is Summer with Summer's Tips in Teaching, and this is my teacher planner um, from the Teaching Texan, um, just page by page review. Now, I know on this channel I have one from a previous year, but this, um, I wanted to do just a simple page by page. When you order, it comes cutely decorated. I've always gotten some kind of little treat in here, and then you get this postcard that has um, a code on it so you can get a discount on his other products. The Teaching Texan, he his name is Bryce, he sells other products on his website um, that one are personalized like notepads and whatnot, but then also he has um, reading group things, math groups, all that. Okay, um, so this is the page of my planner. You can choose <coughs> your different page. He has a whole bunch here on his website that you can choose from. I chose this lavender one this year and then you can personalize it. This is Bjarnson and then the school. And then this is the other side. So I'm going to take this out of the box and just go through page by page or section by section about what you'll find. Um, when you're personalizing your planner, one, you can have your name and your school put on it. You get to choose from a, at least 30 other pages that you would like for your front design. And then you can choose your coil. I choose the plain, simple silver that comes with, but you can get rose gold or gold and they cost additional money. And then this is the back side of my planner and it says stop and smell the lavender, the teaching Texan. Um, the last couple of years I've had rainbow themes, but this is what I have for this one. Okay, so I'm just gonna go page by page. There is a little um, book marker that is in here that you can move from, the, it's in the coils here, that you can move, take out and put, you know, in your planner to help you know what page you're on, but I'm just gonna put that up there. Also, this is a pocket where you can open and close this pocket to have I don't know, pens or note cards or whatever it is you want. Honestly, I don't really use this very much, um, but this is a feature in all the planners and it comes with the basic planner. Um, here is the front of the cover page. You can now choose from within your, when you make your selections, either um, this I think is called boho colorway, but you can also choose bright. And then I chose my pattern this year to be um, blossoms because of obviously the lavender here. Um, there are frequently throughout the planners some inspirational pages. It says never forget the difference you make. There'll be a little inspirational quotes and pages within. This is the first page where you have the, um, your name, your school, contact information, and then you can put your daily schedule if you have um, a basic schedule that you follow. Mine being elementary is usually a little bit all over the place, but you know, you can use this as maybe your weekly schedule or how you, you know, meetings, lunch, recess, class. So that is on that page. Um, these are my two favorite pages. These are passwords. So you can put the website that you have, the username and the password. And this is really very helpful because I don't know about other schools, but we are logging into um, Scholastic, our grading book, our curriculum track, and all these different websites. It seems like every day, um, every year I copy from my old planner to my new planner, my old passwords, and then as I get new. So we have two pages for passwords. The next page is overall um, a, a layout for the year from July to June, the next school year's um, holidays. Um, some of, and it's really nice to have this overall, just to know, you know, depending on when your school breaks are. Um, I add a couple, but they're um, culturally inclusive holidays. You know, December, look at that, we got winter solstice, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. So it is very nice, um, a yearly overlay of the different holidays and dates to remember for the year. The next page is for your birthdays. I fill this out right away when I get my class list to know who is the oldest to the youngest for the next school year. Um, now this, you can order more of. These are called Plan It Out pages. 
Um, at the top, he lists different ideas that you can use this for making seating charts, small group, classroom layouts, project ideas, ce special celebration plans, or what I heard first time ever, sticky note parking lot. So um, with this planner, you get one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, eight, I think pages are sticking together. Nope, six pages of the parking lot plan, or plan, plan it out pages. There is an option where you can pay extra to have more pages. Personally, the six pages have been enough for me. I've never needed more. The next few pages are a parent contact log. On here, it is, it's, it's a nice way to record who and what you have um, in regards to speaking with your parents for um, whether you um, had made a phone call, email, sent a note home, or spoke to them in person. Then also you can, it gives you a little key here to talk about whether or not it was for academics, social, emotional behavior, or other. And there's two pages, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages of, oh, nine, ten. Ten pages. Um, I have never fully filled this out. I've never needed more than these pages. Um, but they are available. But you can also, if this is a system that you really like, um, you can order extra pages of those. Here is your rough layout for your year. Um, this is where you would put your first day of school when you have your Christmas break or Thanksgiving break or winter break. And so it's nice just to get your dates all lined up for an overall outline for the year. And then we start right into July. Um, I usually don't have any information really to put in the July calendar um, unless it is like an in-service where we have a curriculum training if we got new curriculum. Last year we did one in July. But this is the overall layout for every month. It will show you with the July. <clears throat> Here's the full month. There is a list of things to do on the side and then the previous month and the next month. Um, and this is just really nice because the next pages are your weekly. Now, another feature that you can have that costs extra is you can have the teaching text and company label your days of the week at the top or the side. They give you that option. Or you can do what I do and I just leave it completely blank and I write it in for myself. The nice thing is, is you can use this in two different ways. You could just use this as a teaching calendar and label this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you plan your day out this way, or you can do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then have a weekend column. Um, and then you could have this be your subject. So he does give you two different options, whether you want the days of the week at the top or the side. I just do it myself for free and write it in my own. And I, like I said, I go across, Monday goes across, Tuesday goes across. And this is the stuff that happens before lunch and this is the stuff that happens after lunch. Also, there's really nice to-dos and preps for that week. Um, I don't use this as my full lesson plan and some teachers do. I just in general use this to kind of give a brief outline over the day. Um, what I'm gonna do for my, um, my seat work time in the morning when they're coming in, what do I want, what kind of um, overall, uh, do I have any meetings or I have any specials? I label my specials. I don't use this for the lesson planning. It's just a basic breakdown of what's gonna happen over the day. Or if I have like an IEP, or if in that afternoon we're gonna take the bus and go see, go on a field trip, I just use this as an overall weekly layout. Um, I do list my preps, like will I need to do any copying this week or anything to get ready for the next week. And so this is what your each week, it is dated up here in the top corner. Um, so you do have the full month laid out in weeks. Then after you have that week, you do have one, two pages, um, actually more, two, no, just two pages of notes. Now for these note pages, 
obviously you can use them for whatever you want if you have a parent meeting but i typically take this planner with me to my staff meetings and if i had a staff meeting i have one a week on wednesdays um, i would take any brief notes that i needed to know for that week on these pages and so that way whenever i go to staff meeting in the month of july if i have anything that i need to take track of and then add take care of later i put on these two pages um, because i chose a floral pattern um, there is flowers in each month. The previous years I had a rainbow or a bright theme. And so these were all like bright paint um, splotches and designs up there. But like I said, that is every, um, every month is the same. There's the overall calendar. There's the layout that you fill out for your week. And then there are the notes pages. I'm gonna skip all the way, it goes from June all the way through, or July to June, and here is the June. But there's also some really fun things at the back of this planner too. Um, these are the checklist pages, these student checklist pages. I've used these for a variety of things. Um, I list all my kids at the, when I get my class list at the beginning of August, I list them all here. And then I kind of just use this as like um, keeping track of what the kids need to do. So like for instance, maybe I have a permission slip that's sent out. I'll write down here that we have a permission slip and me or the teacher's aide, as they turn things in in the morning bin when they come in, we just take it and put a check mark. Or maybe who's turned in their reading log calendars, I would write September reading log there and I'd keep track, you know, cause some kids finish it the third week in. And so I'll have about a week of collecting reading logs. Or if I overall was going to meet with students once a month, I want to take a little bit of time to touch base with them. I'll put monthly meeting and then I'll put check marks in here as I um, meet with the kids. So there's all kinds of ways you can use these checklists. Um, and again, I believe there's eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, seven, eight. There's actually more. There's a lot of them. I probably actually paid extra. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Because the checklist pages are another addition that you can pay extra to have more of them in. Because I do have a tendency to use these a lot. And then at the very end of this planner are more notes pages. Our in-service starts early August, so I'll bring this and I'll take notes at all of our in-services, or if we have all staff meetings, or if we have PLCs, or if we just have grade level meetings, I take the notes for any of those other meetings throughout the year on these note pages. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and that is it. And I pretty much fill the note pages during the year. Again, we have another little inspirational quote page, Teachers Change the World. I was looking to see if they had one at the back side, but they don't there. Um, another nice feature with this planner are pages of planner stickers. They've got all kinds of stickers for meetings, in-services, PLCs, 504s, IEPs. And so I like to use these stickers. Um, I'm gonna open up to one of the calendar pages in this. So on Wednesdays, we typically have our PLCs. I would put a PLC sticker right here because we have a PLC every other Wednesday. Or if I have, we have IEPs on Mondays. If I have an IEP for one of my speech students or my Title I students, I would put the sticker on here for my monthly layout. There's also um, little flags that you can put down for certain events or if you are using it in your like lesson planning pages, you know, you can flag extra events here. I also will put PLC stickers on here so that I remember when I'm looking at my overall layout. And then also there's some stars for other events and he um, the Teaching Texan Bryce gives you two pages of stickers. The final thing in this um, planner is a really sturdy um, pocket. There's one pocket here and another pocket folder here. 
And so this obviously is really nice when you're going to those meetings, they give you handouts. Um, I also like to keep in this planner um, an alphabetical class list. And I tell you, I bring this planner to every meeting, everything I do in the school, I'm carrying my planner. And then here's the back page. And again, this is a lavender theme. And again, right here is a another pocket. Now this one is a different kind of a pocket where you can slide papers in here. So if you have something particular you need to put in here that needs to be protected, you can keep that in there. And then here's the back heavy laminated page. I, I wish you could see how nice and sturdy this laminated page is. And then here is the beautiful back cover. So in the description box below will be a link to the Teaching Texan so that you can look through and see all of the variety of planners he has. Um, I will tell you that each year, this is my third year getting the planner, the, um, they haven't, he hasn't always had the same pages for the covers um, that he's had in previous years. Um, so he does change it up. They have flowers, rainbows, animals, all kinds of varieties of planner pages for you to choose. Um, there's also, I would say roughly these planners run, depending on all the extras that you put in your planner, whether you're putting extra check sheets or extra um, planning pages, um, any of those are an extra or a different color coil or an additional cost. So your planner can be the basic at like $45 or it could go up to 60 or 70. And then there is shipping and handling. Um, but I think it's a really good investment. And like I said, I write in this planner every single day. And so I always, I do, I do think it's a very good investment and I never regret spending the money on the planner. And it holds up very nicely through the year. All right, so check out the Teaching Texan. There you go, there's his outside. I will have a link in the description and that you can click on if you would like to purchase your planner. All right, have a good school year. Bye.